Hey folks, welcome back to Digital Dreamscape. Today we're installing the Viper Steel Series DDR4 um, on the MSI X570A Pro motherboard. Um, I chose this RAM strictly for the aesthetics. Uh, I wasn't on the compatibility list, um, and I'm sure it just uh, most likely the compatibility list hasn't been updated yet because this RAM is fairly new or um, probably the more likely scenario is that it, the main board doesn't necessarily want to support uh, the 4400 clock speed of the RAM um, but I was pretty sure when I ordered the RAM that I'd be able to get a, a stable clock speed just maybe a little bit slower which ended up being the case um, I think I, I settled at 3466 as a uh, stable clock speed setting for, um, for running uh, four sticks of memory. It's a dual channel board. Um, I just went ahead and grabbed two dual channel sets um, and for a total of 32 gigs and got all that installed and it looks great and it's it's running fine at uh, like I said 3466 megahertz so um, moving on so here I want to just talk about the dual channel configuration if you're only using two sticks where it, the where it circled on the board there it gives you the layout of the um, the slots that you want to use if you're only using two sticks um, so you want to use the second and the fourth slots on this um, and so if you're looking down on the board at this angle and you count them off one two three four we want to install the two sticks on two and on four um, and what this does is it optimizes um, the speed of the bus speed basically to the processor when we're installing this stuff, this is probably the easiest component to install. Um, it's got a little slot down the middle of the chip and it's off-centered. So we just want to line up that little slot in the middle with the, the um, protruding corresponding point in, in the memory slot. Um, so when you look down into the memory slot, you'll see a uh, Kind of a tooth that sticks up in the middle and we just want to line up that tooth with the the gap in in the middle of the chip so once we get that lined up um, we just drop it into the slot and then just apply light pressure to both sides um, you're going to hear some clicking noises typically when it locks in um, and then it's uh, has a little locking arm um, on the side of the slot that we click into place when we're when we get it seated so that's it for installing RAM um, it's really a piece of cake if you have any questions or anything put them in the comments below otherwise hit the like and the subscribe button for me I'd really appreciate it and you'll get uh, notifications when I upload new content um, which I am looking forward to bringing to you soon thanks guys